Hi and welcome to Crafty Mama's Kitchen. I'm Sarah and today I'm going to show you how to make a candle in a teacup and it's a beautiful gift for any friend or family and very quick and easy to make. Let's have a little look at the ingredients that we've got here. I've got some help with my son here, Elliot, who's here, who's going to help by pointing to all the different ingredients that we've got. Most important ingredients is in the jug there at the back, which is the wax, and that actually is um, soy wax. So much more um, eco-friendly, and also not got the toxins in that some of the other waxes have. Yeah, we've got uh, an old china cup. You can pick these up from the charity shops. Very, very cheap, very reasonable. You can, you know, have a look for them regularly and keep them by. Sellotape, I'll show you what that's for later. Uh, something to stir the wax when it's melted. So we've got a fork. Uh, we have a wick, which uh, we've got there. And we've got some colouring. Uh, I use the soap colour, but you can use whatever colouring you need. And of course, um, we have some lovely, beautiful fragrance. In this instance, it's banana nut bread. Okay. First of all, what we want to do is take the cup, which you've got there, and also take the wick. And what you want to do is place the wick on the inside of the cup and make sure that it sticks at the bottom of the cup there, right slap bang in the middle, okay? Now there's various ways you can do this. You can do it by putting a tiny, tiny bit of um, tape down there, sellotape. Just going to do that myself. So if you bear with me while I do this, just roll a little bit of tape around your finger, just enough so that this will hold at the bottom of the cup. Okay. As you can see, the teacup now has the wick firmly placed right in the center. Just using a tiny, tiny bit of sellotape rolled around your finger. So the next step is, once you've actually put your little wick in there, to make sure you fill up your wax in, I always use a Pyrex jug if I can. So once you've actually done that, I'm gonna get Elliot to put this in the microwave. We'll put that in the microwave. Use the handle. All right. Okay. Done. Uh, the best thing to do is to put it in the microwave for very short, sharp spurts. So only put it in for, put it on for 30 seconds, but what we'll do is we'll stop it um, after a few, probably stop it after about 15 seconds give it a slight stir because what we don't want to do is start to burn it or for it to get very very hot so we'll forward that Done. what we'll do is we'll stir this and then we'll pop it back in Isn't that very hot? keep doing this until you get it to this particular consistency Let's forward on the video and you'll see what I mean. I think that might be done. Right, okay. So we're going to get this out. Do you want to take that out? Be very, very careful. And pop it down there. Okay, do you want to just give that a little stir? Do you want to bring it over here just so people can see how clear it really is? okay brilliant okay then i think we've probably put that in the microwave um for probably anything up to about five minutes you saw that it was a pint jug and it was filled with the um uh the soya flakes so um i would say anything up to about five minutes but only do it bit by bit every perhaps 20 seconds or so right then next thing is the exciting bit and that will be colouring and fragrance. Okay, now the colour is really up to you. But as I'm going to go for the banana nut bread uh, fragrance, I've decided to just put a little bit of yellow colouring in there. So you've got to be really careful with this yellow uh, colouring. So do you want that to just put a little fragrance. bit in? Or, okay, you can be more liberal with this. We're going to use it by quite a bit into it smells really nice yeah fantastic that's oh, lovely make sure that the wax is hot not red hot i wish that <laughs> not really hot that... but make sure that Can it is stir hot it 
making sure that it is still very clear and everything has been thoroughly stirred through. We've already put some of that in. We oh, don't yeah. need to put any more in than that. <laughs> so what I want is I just want a very light uh, lemon colour rather than a strong yellow. So mm -hmm. okay. and that smells absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, oh, we did. You first we did. Did it smell it. Smells gorgeous, doesn't it? Yeah. Once you've thoroughly stirred through the ingredients, then what you're going to need to do is to pour this inside the cup. Be very, very careful. It should be starting to cool down now. It shouldn't be very hot at all. But what I would suggest is that you use, I mean, I've used a, a fondue knife, as you can see, just to make sure that the wick is standing upright, because you want that wick upright all the time. Okay, so Elliot's actually filming this bit, so okay. carry on until you get to as high as the candle you want. Okay, and I've just held the wick. Now just leave that completely to set. That's the best thing to do. Let's have a little look at it in a couple of minutes. So once everything's set, you should find that you can add bits of ribbon, cellophane, and any other accessories that you want to. Looks nice. Thank you. So until next time, thank you for joining us, and goodbye from Crafty Mom's Kitchen. Bye.